at this burrito. You have, I mean, you, you, your side's like, you Jeez. Like, well, look at your side, look at my side. <laughs> you, here, let's switch. <laughs> look at the difference. It looks beautiful. How is it? That's close to Super Calcarea. Mm. Oh my god. Carnitas, white rice, lime. Zero to five, this burrito, as far as the build quality goes, it's a it's a 4.2, okay? Mm -hmm. If your burrito can stand up on its own, like this, yeah, it's going to be a damn good day. Get off my hand! Hello! Ahoy there, Wolf Tech Nation. We are glad you guys are here because on today's episode, Ahoy. we. Well, I've got the leg up. I'm doing the captain. El Capitan. Well, I can't. I, Onward. Wolf Tech Nation, we are glad you guys are here because on today's episode, we're on a whole new trail system, baby. We are in Little Rock, Arkansas, we're not, the we've capital. Been here. We the, have been here. Yeah, but it's different. We are in Little Rock, Arkansas, the capital of Arkansas, right? I believe so. It's the River Mountain Park uh, trail system, okay? It's all about the mountain bikes up here behind me. We've got some blues, we've got some greens, and we also have a black diamond. On today's episode, we are going to hopefully be hitting up a little bit of every one of them, and we're gonna be doing a real-time review and a score on the Hamelo. The drop. Oh, oh yeah. 130? millimeter trouble fork that's supposed to be 140 we're gonna find out today see what this thing is all about one of our patrons sent it to us so patron thank you for sending us this fork we got it suited up on the ledge right now um, without further ado guys let's get suited up let's get uh let's get dressed out and let's hit these new trails The Hamelo was at 50 PSI. Somehow it lost 40 PSI, yeah. which is crazy. Uh, this thing, we just installed it a couple nights ago and then now we're fixing to ride it. So how this thing lost 40 PSI is beyond me. We filled it back up to 90 where it was supposed to be. Now we're fixing to ride this blue main vein, main current trail. So uh, anyway, 40 PSI has been added. We're at 90 PSI right now. Let's get this real-time review out of the way. When we get down to the mountain, we're gonna check and see if the pressure is still where it's supposed to be. And I even brought a caliper tool. We're gonna test out and see the, uh, I guess, where that compression ring is and the amount of travel we get. All right, guys, mm -hmm. let me get dressed out, put a helmet on, we're gonna hit this trail. You need a helmet. We're two. All right, here we go, guys. On the ledge with the Hamelo fork. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, love you. I'll see you in a little bit. It's going to be great. 90 PSI. Remember, we actually had to get that PSI, and we had to, uh, we lost freaking 40, man. That's crazy. We're going to check it. Maybe it was just a something crazy. I don't know. Maybe it was just a little, a little muddy. Ugh. Okay, we'll check when we get down over there, and we're going to check this compression ring and see if we get the full amount of travel we're supposed to be getting out of this thing all right but the fork right at a 225 dollars we put one in the fill links last time so you guys can check that out if you guys are interested maybe you might want to see might want to check that fill link out after the uh real-time review <laughs> okay i think we're supposed to go to the okay that's so what we want the main current well i think we are going the wrong way Let's go that way. Well, one thing we could look at is this compression ring. We've used up all of that travel. That was just a little bit of zigzag action. All right, let's start going the right way. Then we'll get this review started. The trail over here starts to go, I think we have to climb right off the bat. So we're gonna turn the lockout on. 
all 80 clicks of it. Somebody was saying that they had this fork and the damping works really well. So we're gonna figure out um, if there's any damping. I don't know, we might be able to try that a little bit, but I think it's just lockout, I'm not sure. But going down that little zigzag section right now, kind of hard to fill out the fork. We were avoiding a lot of mud. But just like on the Wolfman Dino, fork is locked out completely. No movement whatsoever. All right, so we've gotten to some more flat ground here. We're gonna take this lockout about three clicks off of the locked out position. Okay. I mean, it opens up, but I can tell you right now, now there's actually a little bit of a difference there, guys. There's some little hits here. There's actually a little bit of a difference. Wow, very easy to uh, get air on this bike. I always forget about that. We're gonna open it up completely. I'd say there might be a little bit of damping. There's a tiny bit of difference I can feel. Remember, we are gonna be raiding this fork afterwards. Okay, so if you guys are a fan of the Wolf Tick raiding system, please hit that like button. Show you boys some love. Share this video. It's doing very good in the smalls, guys. I can feel that Kenda tire hitting up front. I can feel it hitting stuff and I can immediately feel that fork absorb it. So it's really doing its job up there. Well, the smalls are very impressive. You guys probably have a lot better of a shot than I do right now with that camera, but I'm impressed with the smalls. That rebound being set at about halfway right now, it's not really pushing out of the corners as much as I want it to. Um, and we'll, we'll mess with that adjustment right now and see if it actually plays any kind of a factor. A lot of times with these forks, you get either a slow rebound or a fast rebound. We'll mess with it up here. I'm gonna probably speed it up a little bit. It's a little slow. Lost pressure up there at the parking lot. And I'm curious what it's gonna be when we get down. Hopefully we don't lose anything. Maybe it was just a fluke. I don't know. I think this thing did come from China. But man, so far so good. I'm liking this trail. Been so long since we've been on this thing. Pretty cool views. Up here we're gonna call Wolfman. We'll mess with that rebound. It does need to be sped up just a tad. I can kind of feel the bike lagging in some of the corners now. All right, so we got the new Buffang, Baofang radios that our boy Raxman 80 sent us. Raxman got him in the butt, just dropped. Very cool. It was heck of a time trying to set these things uh, to the right, correct channel, but let's give Wolfman a call and let's see if he answers. It's going to probably scare the crap out of me. You guys ready? Don't tell me I can't hear him. If there was a bear out here right now, we'd be we'd be in trouble. Well, damn, he can't hear me. Okay, well, that solves that problem. We'll have to figure that out when we get down to the truck. Let me put the sucker on lock. Lock. And now what we're going to do is let's mess with this rebound. Let's speed it up. We'll go two clicks. I forget the amount of clicks on this thing. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, maybe a little bit more on the PSI. It should not be that slow right now. That rebound should be popping. Okay, so this is the situation. I have lost adjustment with the rebound, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 bottomed out right now. It's as fast as it'll go. I'm curious if that's going to be an issue with the uh, amount of pressure that this thing needs. Maybe it needs more to react, but that is full speed ahead. And that's super slow. That is nothing like we were inside the shop. We're going to probably put some more air in this thing kind of see, but right now the adjustment's not... I, it did speed it up, so I don't want to say it's not doing anything. It's just it was a lot better in the shop. Uh, maybe we lost some more pressure. Okay, so right now, after adjusting that rebound, um, when I'm just close to being bombed out, the rebound feels good. But if you guys notice, I'm riding with this thing smashed down. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not it's not popping back up. I'm not exposing any more of that stanchion on the travel, or travel on the stanchion, a little dyslexic there. Um, I'm riding about right here and I get off of it and then look how much more exposes. We definitely need some more pressure in there. I'm worried that's losing pressure. Now it just feels like every time I pedal on every single stroke, it's sinking down and I can almost feel it losing pressure, guys. That's not good. Man. Hey, Wolfman, can you hear me? Can you hear me? If this doesn't work, something's wrong with these settings because he's like, right. I hear you. What's up there? always repeat, can you hear me? Roger that, copy, um, I'm just trying to be official. Hey, did you hear me calling you earlier? I I'm guessing you didn't. No, I did not hear you calling me earlier. I gotta go, I gotta get me a roll this barge. Ask me about the fork. Uh, I will later, 
there. I gotta get this barge. I would like for him to ask me about the, the, the damn fork, okay? I guess we'll have to do that later. I'm locking this. Lock. Locked. Guys, hit that like button, please. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Show your boys a little bit of love. Oh God, now he's asking me about the fork. Son of a... Now you want to ask me about the fork. Uh, yeah, I told you I had to get a shot of the bar. The barge wasn't going to stop and wait for a photo off. I might as well just wait till I see it at the bottom. I'm, I'm riding. Whatever. I mean, don't bother me to bother you and then be bothered by my botherment. Crazy damn guy. Okay. What? Oh, God. Okay. So, Gravity Falls Black Diamond. We're going to do that here in a second. That's that way. Okay, you guys see that? We're going to go. Ooh, that looks fun. It looks like there's a drop on that one. Okay, so we're going Whirlpool. All right. That rebound is all the way up. And now, now it feels like I'm hopping off this damn trail. Now it feels like it's pushing me way too much. So it's definitely a little all over the place. And now the churns, ooh, those are some chunky churns. And now the churns, it's popping me. I'm getting a lot of kind of unwanted air off those little peaks and stuff. Uh, because that rebound is just super fast. See what we got down here. We got anything we can hit. Okay. Wow, that was uh that was a good little hit there. Preload was nice. See, that's one of the complaints this trail gets is sometimes they put these tabletops in areas where you're going, you're scratching your head going, well, they're not giving me enough speed. Ugh, like that one. I don't know. Look forward to that black diamond. This right here is fun. Very. Here we go. Now we got some speed. There we go. All right. Super smooth. Damn it. Not enough speed on that one. It's super smooth on the bigs. I just can't hit these things right. Well, this fork case is really good. But the rebound really is messing me up. It's way too fast. And I ain't gonna stop and readjust it because I don't think it's, I don't think there's gonna be any helping it. The bigs are kind of all over the place. We'll see how it does on this black diamond. They're gonna be rating this thing. All right, guys, we're gonna test the air pressure now. We just Why got are done. Why we testing the air pressure? Well, because on the trail from the beginning, it felt like I lost pressure already. Okay. That and the adjustments kind of went out on me. So I'm just trying to see, we've been talking about the whole trail and it feels like I was riding like halfway. So I don't know if we don't have enough air pressure in this thing or if it's losing it because it's, the rebound's not great. Mm. Uh, the adjustment the rebound's not great and the um, I've had to speed it up completely. So what are we at? Can you see it? I see the gauge, but I can't tell what it's at. The gauge is at, it's at 80 now. It's more like 79. So we lost. Yeah, we lost. See, what's funny is the ZTZs did this to us. And remember everyone said that we were wrong with, uh, we were wrong because we didn't have a, a shock pump, proper shock pump. Yeah. And it's like, well, shock pump or not, it has nothing to do with losing air. Yeah. The only thing I can think of, and I've got a tool that we could uh, fix it, is you know how sometimes like whenever you take a, the valve core out of a, a tube or a, a, like a tire, uh -huh. um, I've got a valve core tube or a valve core tool. Uh -huh. Let's make sure that it's tightened for people to start going, well, that's what's loose on it. Let me grab it real quick. My, my tool here, uh -huh. uh, we'll do a, when I get on there. Yeah, it's tight, it's, it's tight. Okay, okay so, so that's that tight. tight. Yeah. So it's not that. So it's not the, uh, it's not the valve core. Uh, what do you want to put it at? I mean, I'm about to hit the black diamond. So well, it lost. If you're bottoming out left and right at 90, then, then... I think the black diamond on this is super technical. I mean, I hit some bigs out there, but nothing out of hand. But I bombed the hell out of it. 95? Up. Yeah, let's let's go 95. That's just crazy. It lost 10... It was at 79. Lost about 10, 12 PSI. Let's get that caliper tool out real quick, and let's just measure this. Don't touch it. Let's, let's just measure it. Don't touch it. We'll measure it, and then we're going to go do that black diamond right there. That is 136. 0.3 millimeters of travel. Well, I just can't believe you lost that much air. Yeah, that's not good. I knew I felt it. Well, hopefully now in the Black Diamond, it'll act a little bit better. At least till we get done, we'll be able to rate this. Hey, I just wanted to give you a call and let you know we are at Gravity Falls about to take the Black Diamond. Okay, read you loud and clear on that one. 
and uh, I want you to know we moved over to the parking lot, not by the water, but the one by the bathrooms, and I'm enjoying an A.J. Fernandez cigar, and I uh, look forward to hearing how the fork does. All right, hopefully I didn't lose too much pressure. Love you. I'll see you down at the bottom. All right, love you, and shout out to Raxman for the uh, radios. Shout out to Raxman. That rebound, that's as fast as it'll go. That's weird. It's acting completely different from when it was earlier. And that's the fastest, guys. So we're going to keep it there. It's a little sticky, but all right. Seat post dropped. Standing room only. All right, second portion of the Hamelo. 36 boost on the Black Diamond Gravity Trails. Let's go. And we got the little rock garden, a couple little switchbacks. And then we got the pole all. Let's kiss your own with a drop at the end. Forks reacting good. Here's the drop. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, yeah. A lot of speed throughout that. We followed through, but it was a good hit. And this fork soaked it up. It's doing really good on the bigs. Uh-oh, a little messed up there. Doing really good on the bigs. Oh, that rebound is a little too fast. It's just all over the place. We done talked about that already. And that's gonna be a big part of the scoring. Now down here is that feature, guys. There's a little rock pump portion here. And that says feature expert. There ain't no way anybody's gonna hit that gap. Oh yeah, I think these brakes are working. This thing is doing great right now. It kind of just wants to be pushed. I don't know if we're supposed to go left or right right there. Huh. It kind of just wants to be pushed and then it starts reacting really well. But everything before that, the middle stuff is just kind of weird, you know? It doesn't act good in the middle. Ah, it's an all or nothing fork. Trail ends soon, I guess. All right, this is where we came out earlier. All right, so got some decent big hits, big hits out of there. We're gonna go down to Wolfman. We'll uh, start talking and rating this thing. Very interesting. All right, guys. Well, I think we are ready for the Hamelo fork. Not real time review. The score. We don't score. Well, this you did the real time. Am I in the frame? Yeah. You did the You're real time big. review. You're just big. I'm big. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about this thing a little bit and kind of explain to you guys because it was kind of all over the place. The, it was all over the place. It's like, Do the scores reflect? The, the scores reflect the all overness, yeah. yes. All right, so uh, the Melo Boost 36. 36. $225 fork. Patron, thank you for sending us this fork. Yes, patron, thank yes. you. Yes. Looks plus feels. We're going to start off as usual. And in the looks category, you gave this fork a 4.5 out of 5 because you really like the triple black. Yes. The triple black is your favorite. Yes. Lowers are black. Stanchions are black. Steer tube is black. Everything's black. Big fan. You're a big fan of that. Yeah, it looks good. And 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 fittingly for what you like. Now that's subjective. These all are. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I agree with you on the looks. Okay. Okay. On the feel, this is where we had a little bit of difference. Not much. We cut. We split the difference. You give it a. You give it a 3.2, I give it a 3.0, so we split it at 3.1. 3.1 on the feel. It's a good feeling fork. The downside, and you reminded me, is the rebound knob feels a little weird, and it so feels does the compression chintzy. lockout knob. That feels it, weird. A too. little chintzy as well. Yeah. Not, not horrible. We felt worse. But for 225 again, we're basing this a little bit on the price as well, because if this was a $150 fork, we'd probably have been a lot more forgiving yeah. to those things. But since it's a $225 fork, uh, there's a lot of forks that are cheaper that feel better. Let's go to the smalls. Now the smalls, and again, this is kind of all over the place because at one to, at one point you thought, hey, the smalls might get like a 4.5 or something. Yeah, and you guys were right there with me. <laughs> no. Yeah. And then you went like, well, then the smalls might get like a two, but then they didn't because it kind of redeemed itself. And a then little. we lost air pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sort of all over. When it when you had it over the overall, the averaged out whenever you could get it dialed in for like the five minutes you could get it dialed in, you give it a three point two. Three point two. Okay. So 
three point two is not, heck of a not lot better. horrible, not no, great. That's better than what I thought it was going to be. The three point two is just guys. The adjustment factor really plays a big role with which, this. Which fork, is next? Which is next? It, it plays a huge role with this fork. Remember, the smalls started out great, and then we lost all pressure. It was like, what the hell? Like, I knew something had happened. We lost all pressure. But so you guys know, on the second run after uh, we brought it back from the blue and we hit the black. The pressure, we changed it to 95, then we came back to the truck, the pressure was still at 95. It did hold but pressure the second, third go round, that really. Was like, that was like uh, maybe 10 minutes, though. Uh, of, That's true. You know what I mean? So it wasn't that long But it did start holding pressure it after did. a while. Uh, and, and so it, got, it redeemed itself a little bit, but I mean... It, we gotta get. It is what it is. Yeah, like the, this is how the it smalls, performed. man. The smalls had me like, oh my gosh, this fork's gonna be great, and they just kind of fell flat in its face because it got stuck and the air pressure went down, and and then the rebound knob wouldn't work. We'll get to that. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's the next the one. The, the, all over. Was, our scoring's all over because the fork's all over. Yeah. The adjustment factor. Now, the ability to adjust that fork in to where you want it and where you need it, and the ability for it to maintain and maintain. hold that is part of the adjustment factor. I wish I'd known that word out there. Maintain. It yes. doesn't maintain. It doesn't maintain. You were able to make adjustments, so you didn't give it a really super low score. You give it a 2.5, and I agree with that. Yeah, 2.5, like I said, I was able to make adjustments, but it was very drastic adjustments, and that's what made the difference. At first, I thought we could just do a couple of switches here, a couple of switches there, and it would be good. But if you guys remember, man, I sped that rebound up because it felt like I was just lagging in the corners, like it was almost it was almost uh, too flat in the corners. And that's because you were losing pressure. That's because I was losing pressure, and I liked the slow rebound we started out with. I was sticking, it was great, and then it just started to go downhill. The bigs, that's what everyone wants to know. The soaks it up factor, the big stuff, the, you, you hit a pretty good sizable drop. Yeah, and it probably had the GoPro effect. That was a nice drop, guys. Um, yeah, the GoPro effect makes everything look tame. Yeah. And then when it, and then when people come out here to ride it, they go, "Holy crap, it's a lot yeah. more than I thought." And there was a couple of bigs up on the second or the first portion I did that I cased some stuff because uh -huh. I need to learn to ride these trails. Uh, well, you, 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 know. these, you don't ride these trails very often. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, it soaked them up pre pretty decent, and I, I I remember saying this is an all or nothing fork, you know, like you kind of just have to beat it up, and it will work a little bit better, I guess. Well, you gave it you gave it a seven point eight in the bigs. Yeah, and I think that's completely. I, I think that's really fair. The biggest thing that is a negative on, I think it would have scored higher had it not been for the adjustments being all over the place. The because adjustments affected at the top again. of the black diamond. I pushed on. I went all right. This is kind of where it needs to be. We'll see, and it changed like that. Well, the weight was a uh, five point three six pounds okay. and out of 10 possible 10 points it got 4.64 points okay so and then then we get to the the, the other one the penalty yes the, so let's talk about that the best we could get out of that pretty much was 136 millimeters yes now it's advertised I, look i understand people say oh well maybe it's set for 130 well maybe it's set for you know whatever here's the problem it's advertised and sold as 140 and i believe it's meant to be 140 i don't I believe so it's meant to be 130 and it gave us at the best pretty much 130 uh 136 point like three or something so anyway 136 is what we settled on so that gave it a 0 0.40 penalty so you gotta take that from the score it's not massive it's that's, scientific. That's ma yeah so now we don't have the board are you gonna show the board i'll show yeah i'll the, show something okay you'll show something the the overall score for the Hamelo boost 36 fork is 25.34. Ooh, that is low. Let me, me 25.34 in case the motorcycle going by. That's, too uh, that's low. That is low. Yeah. But it reflects. That's low. Like, let me ask this. It, it, but here's my question. If you got to choose between this and, and, and say a fork that wasn't quite as good as this, mm -hmm. technically, but would keep a, would maintain its adjustments. Which one are you going to pick? Uh, the maintenance it, of the adjustments, the, the, the maintaining the, of the adjustments. Exactly. For it. It, it's just so all over the place, guys. Exactly. At one point you're loving this thing, the other point you're you're cussing it on one point of the trail, and then you go on that, like I said, the black diamond, and it, it just it, it completely falls flat in its face because there's no there's no maintaining of any kind of adjustment whatsoever. Yeah. So, so it was just all over the place. But um, twenty five point three four. Don't, yeah, don't I, know what to tell you. Let us know if you disagree 
with the, we're always glad to hear disagreements we're yeah. fine with that just have a point don't just say well you guys suck and your score sucks yeah just just tell us why you know all right guys well we're fixing to get out of here uh hey please hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the wolf tick nation show your boys some love if you guys want to show a little bit more support you can always buy us a cup of coffee you can check that link out in the description below or if you want a little bit extra content okay a little bit exclusive stuff you guys can become a patron only for mature audiences with a lot of language though yeah. it gets a little he gets me riled up he likes to get me upset and then hit you know record so all right guys hey patron thank you so much for the fork and little yes. racks man got the butt just dropped thank you for them radios the radios man. are great now he won't leave me alone with them. they're working out guys wolf tick nation we'll see you on the next episode yeah